डे ब्रेकअप Aban Square. Well, we are so excited to have all of you at least seated and ready waiting for the Urban Square and those who started way back with us from 10 a.m. Thank you so very much. I think you've watched everything. I don't really have to repeat everything. Otherwise, good morning. I'm super excited to talk about a lot that we have on the panel. Allow me introducing my co-host so that they can say hello to you as well. Hello, everyone. Good morning to you all and uh, thanks for tuning in to Record TV. A lot more is coming in. Good morning, I'm Blessing. Of course, you've already seen me in the earlier segment of the Daybreaker, but special shouts to Michael Kitanda. I know you're watching right now. Well, no, 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 and I'm also super excited, just like you are, to get something to the audience out there. Uh, let me first thank the panelists. Uh, thank you for being smart. I love the way they all look. Well, thank you, thank darling. You love. Thank you. Everything mm -hmm. is good and from a uh, precious world. Precious yes, world. she said that. And uh, of course, you can come and visit me at Equatorial Mall, shop number 163, in Grand Corner, shop number 532. So please come and support and have all the best. That's right. Yeah, so well, 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 she's calling the one who wants to go to when you're calling up clients. Whoever knows how you can yap. <laughs> Big shout outs to Tina Martha Flavia and Ashraf. What's Ashraf's second name? Uh, Molina. Molina Ashraf. Uh, and Tino Why? Martha. Why? Is that yes. on purpose? No, 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 no. no, no. no. We're just saying hi. We're no. simply saying oh, hi yes. because Ashraf sent him a message different. and said uh, he would be watching, so we should send him regards. Oh. So that is why actually I said, and I know Tino Martha Flavia is as well watching. Yeah. Well, so our producer who is not here this morning, a very good morning. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we had him with him. No, wait, it's All because right. of the, you, you, like, Ibra is watching, they're sending shouts. Oh, yes. 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 So Ibra. Really? Yes. Shout out to Ibra Mira, our sweet producer, oh, yeah. he is out there watching, he's missing out today. We would be all on session like, because his hands right in front of you. Have so you guys like, noticed? I'm, not, I'm, on, I'm the only person who hasn't sent. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, go on, go on, go on, please. Oh. <laughs> I sent greetings to my Mulamu Tracy. Oh. <laughs> Tracy, you always this time near Chido, asking whether your husband is at home. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 is this real? Yeah, okay. it is. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, those who are joining us right about I now. <laughs> Tell her because you know, oh, no. um, when <laughs> my brother always comes home to see Gazekula Kumami, so this my Mulamu always calls me in the night. You know, What's Mulamu in saying. English? Uh, my, my sister, in yeah, my sister, in yeah, she always calls me in the night. I really wanted to simplify this because I was. <laughs> looking at Adema, really suffering with Mulamo. <laughs> Mulamo. Mulamo is something really long. Yeah, Do you notice? Is, it is. And it sounds a bit weird. Very what are you trying to insinuate? Please don't give Ibra stuff to say to me. Right. Okay, right. okay. Uh, back to the topic of discussion of uh, uh, for those who are joining us right now. When it comes to Urban Square, yes, this is how we get to sit and it becomes a, a women's chat. It becomes a girl's chat. We get to talk about so many different beautiful things. We discuss about a lot. We argue about a lot. Okay, we say a lot. That is what you have to know. You already saw the interviews that we started with and that is us. Um, we got those abrupt interviews. We didn't know actually they would be airing on air. And uh, 
Uh, we just thought our producer wanted to know who Precious is, who Blessing is, who Tina is, who um, Halima is. But unfortunately and surprisingly, we found ourselves on air and he was like, okay, that is what is going to play for us. So we're, we're already seated waiting for us, we're waiting for ourselves on air and then we saw that. I think they had to, you know, communicate with the person in the control room and that is Alan. So, but anyway, it's okay. I guess by now you know what is happening in our lives. You know that having unprotected sex is actually not good because someone suffered it. Um, <laughs> you know? Shut up. Sure. You know, it's not good to stay late at school in case you're supposed to go home. You could be raped. Do, yes, yeah. you could be raped. Please do that. Uh, you could, you, someone said, there is one who refused to say something stupid, and then uh, another one uh, said, What well, can do on her sister's yeah, graduation? Yes, and with heels. And she had long hair. How weird yeah, would can't. that be? I would expel her from my family. I know. <laughs> Why would you do that, by the way? On your sister's point, you know? Okay, now here's the thing. I grew up in a family of boys whereby I have brothers more. So I grew up in a life whereby much of my life is too much of boys kind of thing you get. I resemble my dad. I grew up with boys. You look like a boy. And I remember my just recently. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> People had to tell me, I think it's true, but which is turning you to be a lady now because most of my everything has been so much Boyish. but yes and i remember even my first workplace uh okay the former one i remember i used to put on pants and i think it's here when i'm starting to put on dresses and skirts anyway in those interviews i Best really loved i really loved the questions because they were bringing us out like they were real bringing you out of who this person is and then we got to talk about um abusive like abusive relationships or um domestic violence call it that so today we want to talk about that because it was part of our interview and um everyone was against it were all like uh, i think personally on uh, daybreaker i think i've over criticized that i've already told people it's not good to exercise domestic violence because it can actually lead to very very many bad situations so today we're going to discuss about it and let's get to know what people think about domestic violence you never know someone would be supporting it and when we don't know because i know someone is always on the opposite side um and that is uh justina she loves being <laughs> so uh, <laughs> if we are supporting it she might not be supporting it or if we are not supporting it she we might be support. supporting it. so okay. that is a justin okay anything to say about that me. Oh, God. okay to start with when uh, it's in regard to uh domestic violence or abusive relationships most of the time it happens and of course i won't say it's good it's really bad because uh, we all have a right to live and i believe we all must live in the right god is the one to decide who shouldn't live so you never know during the course of everything one might get killed or you can traumatize this person make this person <coughs> into suicide or to some extent this person might walk out of that relationship and never wish to get into any other relationship however much as i don't support it i would still recommend that you who is being abused first look out for those reasons as to why you're really being abused do you get yeah, first look out for those reasons because everything happens for a reason. So to some extent you find that there are those people who are just simply falling victim. They don't deserve this. Maybe uh, he has a boyfriend who drinks a lot, you know, that and maybe some people do this. Mm -hmm. So there are those kind of people as well. But then there are also those kind of people who push you you get who push you to really go ahead and abuse them there's a kind of person you can be with and this person is sincerely every time that person is nagging you and then you're like okay let, let me ask you stop. something let me interject okay. a little bit before you even proceed or would you stay in an abusive relationship um depending on the reason if on the reason as to why he's really then i would really change and Just you can which change. brings me to my opinion okay thank, thank, you, so <laughs> thank you so much now let me tell you something that brings me to my opinion and I, I intended to do that. Mm. So many times we girls, from the side of girls, 
we, uh, you know, things go wrong in a relationship, but because we are the ones that want to keep it and make everything look good, good yeah. yes. we take the blame, yes. we justify the acts of our boyfriends, yes. including yes. the abusive boyfriends. Yes. Yes. Number one. Yes. Well, oh, 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 no. no. Because why? 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 to an abusive relationship and yeah. stay there. Yeah. It could be the money. <laughs> it could be the fear to move on. It could be because your parents is going to ask you what happened to that man. Yes. 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 Or you're yes. just married and going to look. Exactly, like yes. all that stuff, you get. Mm. So it, it could be all those reasons. Now the only reason, whatever reason, regardless, I would never, never stay in a relationship mm. that is where a man lays a finger on you. On me. No, you may. Here is the thing. I do get your point and I do ag actually agree with you. Yeah. I'm so lucky that this is something which has never happened to me. Mm. Of course, I can't say that I've never been in a relationship I've ever, but my kind of relationships, nothing like that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I pray to God never because the nature you change. So you, you don't need to beat me actually. If you're my guy and you watch, you don't need to beat me. For me, a year is enough. Yes, it could be verbal. It could be verbal violence. It could be like a bit of a little 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 bit there are also men out there, and I'm too for just because of the ego, these men can't pull out and be like, you know what, I'm really going to leave. Because this lady, you know, there are ladies who fight, I won't mention the name of someone who is close, but there are those ladies who can really fight, a lady who really nags, yes. a lady, as in there's a lady who can also really abuse you, but some men, because of their ego, and you know that manhood thing, just about like providing yeah. children, yeah. Mm. they are also there, and they are suffering because of uh, various reasons. They can leave. I mean, you're pregnant. So this guy was hitting the lady every day and then, but this guy ended up in prison. Uh, what happened to the woman? The, the woman got a miscarriage. Okay, okay. Yes. Can, I, can, I, can I interject yes. in a little? Um, when it comes to abusive relationship or um, domestic violence, it calls in for a lot. Yes. Just as you said, it might be verbal, it might be beating, it might be uh, like fighting, and it's both way. You may find that this guy is actually a humble guy, he has no problem, and it's the problem is from it's the, the woman, woman. Mm. because the woman loves drinking, because even domestic violence uh, is caused by certain things yeah you just don't come out of the blue and then you get to meet someone, someone or you abuse yeah. someone yeah. because there are those people with bad temper like um now i've had a friend who has had a relationship and she had to quit this relationship prison being not this man had he had it all he had all the money that any girl would ever want she had everything she had a car she had all the clothes in this world but then she had to quit the relationship prison being she wasn't so comfortable with how this guy used to talk to him like verbally because mm. he's this man who would buy you something natural then he gets to abuse you so bad and then he tells you i bought your mother this i did this i did that for you i, I buy you makers I buy you. Yeah. you understand so time comes and you're tired of it you're like okay i love the money i love the way i am living but i cannot continue <laughs> you all this. of course everyone loves money, that's money. Like, so, you know, that's love that's money. insulting yes. 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 Your parents. Everyone everyone Wants money. That's insulting. But should I actually? Uh, no. Uh, let me first ask Blessing. She laughed about me saying, uh, "You love the money." Blessing, <laughs> would you love a relationship without money? No. Thank you. No, no. But of course, but of course, <laughs> love. <laughs> She loved the man and she loved the money as oh, well. Yeah, I would love the man and love the money. Yes, yeah, she loved yeah. she loved the relationship. But money first. <laughs> of course, no. It's not money first. It's oh, anyway. It depends. It depends on how you enter this relationship. It's okay. Okay, this uh, uh, your point actually. I do get it, and uh, I think this should be a lesson to the women out there. Most of the time, we, more especially girls. Okay, there's some guys who do that, but more especially we, the female, uh, the female gender. Most of the time, what we do, we tend to be like, 
I want a guy who has money, a guy who's going to buy me a rug for, a guy who's, you don't know how much this guy has struggled and maybe one single scratch on the car like this can cost you even your life. You get one single scratch on that. So well, that's when this should be <laughs> ladies. No wait, you don't know because for you you feel, I don't know how guys can be in the first place before my anything happens. Okay. Then sweet talk and everything. <laughs> so stop loving. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. The lesson should be like, <laughs> if you're a woman out there, this actually, I think women who are not independent, they tend, oh, usually they suffer more in a relationship. Mm. Everything they have to count on the man, you get, he's the one to buy the food at home, he's the one to pay the water bills, he's the one yeah. to pay the electricity bills. Honestly, we're all in the same people like women are vulnerable. But then we should also know, we should also know. We should, we should the also know. established. Because you already know, she also knows. Now, let me ask you but something. Was Leila Kayondo established or not? Do you remember that saga? Do you remember that SK Do you remember that SK Wanga beat her up? Yes. Yes. And you know what mm. annoyed most of us is we went to her defense on Facebook and social media to say how could SK Mbuga lift his finger to beat up a woman. And Leila comes through and she says, Ah, uh, people, I love. <laughs> Guys, do you know that? No, you know why I don't have to say yeah. that? Me personally, yeah. I think, yes. I think because the, the first, uh, Leila Kain is not established. Okay, yeah. And secondly, yeah. she knew if she went ahead with this entire thing, why would she eat? She but still she 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 woman. So where is that? I don't know that. if SK Mboga still gives in money to Leila Kayondo because this is something that was acted. Right. Me, I call SK, SK Mboga's wedding SK Mboga. acted. Right. Because so, we didn't know about this lady, right. and then all of a sudden right. they right. come out and then they are right. in the wedding and then they are. Okay, so, so you can keep beating me and give me money. Beat me, give me money. Do you know that? No, do you know that? Yeah, those who can. I know that. How many times has he beaten her? It I was probably more more than one time. time. No. Yes. No. 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 She said it wasn't the first time. But wasn't even it the was too much that time. Okay. So she had to. By the time it came to the, the media, yeah. it was yeah. too much. Let me. What angered most yes. of us was the fact that people were telling no. her, "Can you take that guy to prison?" Oh no, 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 not prison, but report the case. And then she's like, "I know." No. 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 Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. The right thing was this in in her case actually. That is the timing where she knew this guy is having another lady. Anytime she's going to lose out, yes. what happened? Why at that timing? Yes. Even when they were still okay. But she was being beaten. Yes, but she didn't come out during that time. She came out during the time where she knew that she's going to lose My question, out. guys, yes. I think, are you missing on, on the question? My question is, why didn't she just drag the guy to police so the guy she pays Because she knew, because she knew she knew she was, she was getting, getting money. money. And yes. so it's and it's going back to the bottom line of this whole discussion. Why was there in abusive relationships? Yes, that, that is very true that some people stay in abusive relationships <laughs> because of their money. Because now let me ask you a question. The story that we had behind, be, behind their fighting yeah. was... SK found her with some another Congolese man. guy, yes. I think a Congolese guy. And then, no, I want you to imagine this. SK Mbuga has put a lot of money into her, you understand? Yeah. He has really invested a lot. Now he gets to find it's like you have a husband or you have a boyfriend, then he gets to find you with some other person, and yet he has tried to give you um, everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's okay. Okay. It's That's like okay. you don't love him. You don't love I him. I yeah. 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 Because what you're reason? The reason? You're the reason, reason as to why you're bringing yes. in this person to bet you up. For that case, no, no, serious. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. with another person yeah, and, he has, and he has invested a lot this no this is a condition okay. if you've not invested in anything in me you please don't have a right to touch me if you've invested everything that i really want i have myself a beautiful car <laughs> i have everything i want i have a house i have a business <laughs> then you have a right to beat me up because i don't know what i want she didn't know what she wanted <laughs> i don't know why you're laughing at this because it's not funny what no like you have a right to get me. Now, let me tell you, I am in a relationship and I am a married woman. The times you be home, the yeah, time you really be home, you get a big good. fight. Yeah. You can have a big fight. Honey, you've not even got to married. And this is what will happen. You will be here and you'll be like, I can never, never um, allow a man to touch me. You understand? Yeah. But 
Uh, Some day like this, you will have a big fight and you'll be the cause and he will slap you, but it might be by <laughs> mistake. Because he loves you, he will beat you up and then afterwards he will say, sorry, he didn't intend it. Would you quit that relationship? No. Because uh, you quit know, that relationship yeah. because you never know what you're going to find outside. You'll find even someone who will beat you. You don't, day. but slap me the second time and sweetheart, I will walk. Of course, someone who loves you and knows that it's not right to beat you, they will beat you once. Yes. I can allow my husband yes. beat me once. One slap is okay, but you don't add another slap on me. Because if you add another slap, then you don't know what you are doing. You are not what? You're not sorry about it. But SK Mbuga was so right to beat her up. Yes! No, okay, here's right. the thing. Actually, I think actually we are running out of time because we have this. Really? This, this, we have really straight time. Really we can we miss this. Can we to a match? I think it's, yes, I think I'm very okay, okay with it. Big because it's minutes. For just that, I think I'm no, very okay with it. First of all, this time hasn't been really enough to yeah. go ahead and you know we express everything and explain and go into detail about the entire subject. But actually, mm -hmm. probably because we have actually only five minutes yeah. to sign out, I think mm -hmm. I should leave my last message to the people. And I think I'm gonna tell people out there if you know you're a woman, you're counting on you don't know where this day is going to struggle, how this person is going to struggle to get all these things. Most of the time, strong women will stand by. Oh, I'm not trying because I'm not looking and for money. Like I am in a loving relationship. But just find things that you may not be You didn't understand what I said. This guy, you're going to have a simple scratch on the guy. For you, you feel it's very little, too tiny. You can even afford it. And it will cause you problems. Because you're not an independent woman. Women work work very hard so that men can take advantage no. of you and that no, is no, okay, one more point before or one, one no, 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 you will not no, wind no, up I'm, go, I'm, going, I'm going to, I'm going to, I promise okay, the only thing I'm going to tell people out there if you know the, the reason as to why this guy is beating you up, you know, and so be you yeah. then if you know that probably this guy is just today I'm with much Justin, with so much with Justin then you can walk out of this relationship because <laughs> you have no reason <laughs> to but at a feeder, a feeder, but if you know Domestic violence, this is when someone actually beats you up or does something when they're not supposed to do it. Like someone is drunk, then they come back home, then they start abusing you, they start beating you up, you've not done anything wrong. That is domestic violence. But if you're having a fight with your with someone you love, that is not domestic violence. It is actually disciplining one another. It's abusive, it's abusive. Excuse me. Gentlemen watching this show, regardless of what a woman does, regardless of what she has done, you do not have the right to raise a finger yes. on a woman. You don't yes. beat up a woman, a she woman. doesn't beat up a man. Number two, regardless of how much you spent on her, why you gotta? And you knew what you were signing for, or maybe you didn't know, poor you, sorry. But then it happened, you don't have the right to raise a finger on a woman. You are much aware of that. Okay, no, 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 you have no right to remind her of where you got her from. You don't, because now we're in a baggage here, but most times we're too silly. So, all in all, in all, in all in whether I provoke you, never say like this, you don't have the right. Please, I can say something. My advice is to the women. Hmm? Women out there, work hard. The reason as to why guys, most guys hit us is because sometimes you be demanding so much. Because you know, Bagenda Ku was sent, eh? you're going to ask for the car, oh, Gumira Baku and Boko. No, 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 I don't stand that. Guys, I have a I know. You need to know that. This era, Tebachaku have a cast. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We don't have any more other time, Justin. Thank you. We don't have any more other time. I'll say this. This is my last um advice to everyone watching out there. Um, any man out there who has his money, if you have your money, and then these Bugo girls who don't know what they want, they come chasing it. Please, if you ever find them with another person when you've invested in them. Them. But if you enter that relationship, you're not going to move women. Put 
Let me mute the If you enter that, uh, that is for the side of men who have it all and there are girls who are chasing after them because you find that. Uh, you don't know, I'm sorry to use that like, because I know there's so many other examples out there who have been following people because I know of friends when I was at campus who used to have all the rich men's numbers. They start calling so you're looking for those men. If they hit you up it's okay. But if you enter the relationship because you love this person, I don't advise any man to beat up someone who loves them. Because these girls are simply chasing for money. They don't love you. But me who came in when you don't have anything, uh, I might find you when you have money but i don't come for money i i have love for you um please don't beat me up don't beat any <laughs> don't ever don't ever raise your hand on a woman who has been there for you who loves you so much who respects you she because it is there. not right it's not right um, even if she has not been there but then she respects you and she loves you because because you can tell someone who loves you and you can tell someone who is simply there for your money this is how we are going to end the show. We, are st we shall start with this same topic next Thursday because it's not, we've not yet ended it. It's actually a quarter of a day. The Urban Square. Daybreaker.